is gonna be all about shorts. It's warming up, it's short season, and I'm gonna be sharing with you how to find your perfect pair. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about the common mistakes us curvy girls make when shopping for shorts, and I'm gonna be sharing with you my hacks and tips for how to fix it. My name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you love hauls, lookbooks, and style tip videos just like this, then sis, you found your tribe. Keep on watching. So one of the most common mistakes I see us curvy girls making when looking for shorts is buying the same size of shorts as jeans. Now I don't know about you guys, but I feel like shorts have a little bit more of a relaxed vibe. I'm talking about denim shorts. I know we have tailored shorts and you know, more structured shorts, but when it comes to denim shorts, I feel like it has a lot more of a relaxed vibe. It's something you wear on weekends, something you maybe you might wear on a night out, but it's just a little bit more casual than let's say a pair of jeans. Cause for me, when I'm shopping for a pair of jeans, I'm shopping for a piece that I want to be versatile. I'm shopping for something that I want to be able to dress up if I need to step into a meeting and then dress down if I want to hang out with family on the weekends. Not so much when I'm shopping for shorts. You want to have some room in your shorts because the last thing you want is for your shorts to be so tight that they begin to constrict the circulation on your upper thigh, right? And then when your shorts are so tight like that, they also have a higher propensity to ride up. My recommendation for my curvy girls, especially if you're someone who has one to two size difference between the, your upper body and your lower body. You want to size up at least one size, sometimes I size up two sizes, in order to achieve that relaxed fit. Okay? Now if you happen to have a rectangle shape or you're more of an inverted triangle, my recommendation is to actually fit your shorts to your waist, right? If you fit your shorts to your thighs, sometimes what happens is that it's too tight in the waist and then it starts to highlight saddlebags, your muffin top, etc., etc. So you want to fit your shorts to your waist. Always in general, in my opinion, it is best to fit your clothing to the widest part and tailor it down. Yeah. Right? So the same rule applies if you're buying a dress, if you're buying a jumpsuit. If you have larger hips, then my recommendation is to fit it to your hips and get the top tailored to fit better. Same thing if you end up having, carrying a lot of weight in your stomach. My recommendation would be to fit the dress to your stomach and get the hips and all the other parts tailored to fit. Cause you can always take things in, but it's a lot harder to take things out. So the next common mistake I see a lot of us curvy girls making when shopping for shorts is buying shorts that are too short, okay? Now I know shorts, modesty, you know, the length of things is very, very subjective, right? And why shouldn't you be able to wear something that's shorter because you're curvy, right? I'm not here to police anybody. I'm not the modesty to police to tell you how short things are. But here's the logic and the reason why the length of your shorts matter. I've already brought it up. It is the dreaded ride up. I have found the ideal length for my curvy girls to prevent those shorts from ending up all the way up in the ground. I don't want to be <laughs> raunchy, but you know, the secrets to keeping the shorts from getting all the way up there when you're walking, you know, is to go for a longer length. Specifically, you want to pick a pair of shorts that's about an inch or two inches longer than where your thighs meet. Okay, this is specifically for my girls whose thighs rub. If your thighs don't rub, you probably don't have the issue of your shorts going all the way up, okay? Getting lost in the sauce, all right? You probably don't have that issue. But if you have the issue, the only way I know if you have that issue, the best way to solve that problem is to go for a longer length. Again, one to two inches longer than where your thighs rub. Now, the alternate solution I can see for this, if you really want to go for your short shorts, is to get some double-sided tape. Get some double-sided tape, put it on the inside of your thigh and on the inside of your shorts, 
and stick it together. This may work, but remember when things get hot, we get sweaty, you know, things might start to move around. There's a lot of friction in between your thighs as you're moving up and down, and it may or may not dislodge this tape. So my best tip again is to go for a longer pair of shorts. I know that might not be what you wanted to hear, okay? But that is my best tip for you. The next common mistake I see my curvy girls making when shopping for shorts is buying the wrong silhouette. Chi Chi, what are you talking about? Wrong silhouette. If you haven't seen my common fashion mistakes plus size women make, make sure to check that video out because one of the things we talked about was body type and specifically shopping for clothing and silhouettes that complement your body type. For my curvy girls, my pear shaped girls, my hourglass girls, A-line silhouettes tend to favor your shape more. Whereas more boyfriend styles tend to not favor your shape. Boyfriend styles typically are made very rigidly, have little to no stretch, and they're cut very boxy, right? They do not take into account your waist to hip ratio. So what happens is in order for you to fit your hips comfortably, you end up having to size up. And then when you size up, your the waist ends up being too big, right? You wanna go for silhouettes that work better for your hourglass slash pear shape. And that's gonna be your A-line style shorts, right? Now, when I think about denim shorts and short shorts, I definitely typically think of the traditional boyfriend style, which is why if you've had a really hard time finding shorts, that is typically how they're cut. Now, certain brands have started making short styles that are cut for more curvy shapes. I know Abercrombie has their Curve Love line, which is designed with extra room in the hip, so you can get the right fit in the hips without sacrificing the fit of the waist, right? And those shorts also come with a little bit of stretch, they come with venting, they come with details that really help to work with your shape. So when shopping for shorts, you definitely wanna look for brands that are creating styles intended for curvy shapes. Another silhouette that works really well, like I said, is the A-line shape. And I find that more tailored shorts, so not denim shorts, okay, more tailored style shorts, more dressy shorts, tend to have more of a trouser cut, which has more of an A-line silhouette and takes into account the hip to waist ratio. Another short style that I find that's super flattering for girls who are curvier is going to be the paper bag style. What I like about the paper bag style is even if you have to size up to accommodate your hips because it is a paper bag style paper bag styles typically come with some kind of belt so you are able to cinch your waist in and create that a-line silhouette that is really flattering for my curvy girls now if you have a rectangular shape or a triangle shape then the boyfriend style short will definitely be your best friend because those tend to be super relaxed they have a lot of room in the hips which will help to balance out your waist to hip ratio and like I recommended you would need to fit those shorts to the width of your waist to get the best fit. So if you've been enjoying the video so far, you learned something, do your girl a solid and hit that like button. But also this would be a great time to share. You may not know this, but someone you know may need to see this video. So let's recap. You want your shorts to give off a relaxed, effortless vibe. So size up, one or two sizes. Two, length matters. Go for a longer length to avoid the dreaded ride up. Three, Know your body type and shop for silhouettes in shorts that complement your body type. Now, I have one more bonus tip for you, and that is to know your measurement. If you're gonna be shopping for shorts online like I do, because in-store is always a fail for me personally, you need to know your measurements. Get yourself a good tape measure, measure your hips, measure your waist, and use those measurements when making sizing decisions. Don't be like, oh, I always wear an 18 and go order an 18 because every single store, especially when it comes to things like shorts and jeans, their size charts, their sizing, their fit models are different. And if you don't want to be disappointed, use the size chart. Sometimes the size chart be having the pieces be too big, but when it comes to shorts, it's better for the piece to be too big than too small. So I told you guys that I had to kiss a lot of frogs before I found my perfect pair of shorts. And last year, after trying over 10, maybe 
more than 10 pairs of shorts, I finally landed on two brands that I love. The first is from H&M, okay? Sadly, I waited too late to try it and everything was out of stock. I was so sad, okay? It's from the H&M Plus line and I think I got a size two or size 20. I can't remember right now. And the other brand that came through for me, especially when it came to the wash. I mean, the wash on these shorts are chef's kiss okay i don't love the wash on the h&m ones but the wash on these target shorts chef's kiss okay was from target now for fit h&m one hands down for me it fit my waist it was high waisted like i like the length was long enough but not too long and then for the look of it target just nailed the wash it was the perfect mid to light wash with like a, a little bit of a cream tinge going on the whiskering was on point everything but the waist was a little big so i had to do that tiktok waist hack okay in order to cinch in the shorts to fit me exactly how i like right it's not a perfect fit but the wash really just makes up for it. So those were the two places that I found that did shorts really, really well. This is denim shorts, not any other type of shorts, right? Really, really well for my shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to link some of my favorites that I've tried down below, some places that carry shorts, then some places that carry shorts for plus size. Like I said, I am yet to try the Abercrombie shorts, but I will be trying them. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like for me to add them into a haul or review them at some time at a later date let me know in the comments but those were my favorite place to find shorts now i feel like i've shared all of my tips my hacks with you guys when it comes to finding shorts if you find that perfect pair that you love make sure you buy multiples because i sure did buy more than one of those h&m shorts and i will be rocking them all summer okay <laughs> so make sure to open up the description box if you have questions about anything that i featured in this video this top i have on these jeans i typically link it under the shop my my outfits link and while you're there make sure to download the like to know it app and follow me because I literally share 99.9% .9 of everything that I'm buying etc etc and I'm saying this because so many of you came for me in the Walmart video because the dress sold out and I had shared that dress already about as soon as I purchased it actually on my like to know it so the girls could have it and so if you want first dibs on all the things that I'm buying what I'm loving, my favorites, my finds, all that good stuff, it's in the Like to Know It app, okay? So download it, follow me, and I also have a video, and I got a question from one of the ladies who said she was only following me and she would love to follow other creators on that app. I actually have a blog post where I shout out 25 other gorgeous creators like myself for you to follow on the app, okay? If you enjoyed this video, check out this video and this video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed